Right guys, Giants Live Glasgow is this weekend and we are going to give a breakdown of the events but first, we're going to see who's competing. So, athletes competing are Tom Stoltman, Mitchell Hooper, Iron Bibby, Eddie Williams, Tyler Cotton, Matthew Rag. then we have myself, Luke Stoltman, Big Gavin Bilton, Pa O'Dwyer, Evans Nana, Luke Richardson, Pavel Kordiaka, and also a couple of late uh, uh, additions was Connor Curran, the current Scotland's strongest man, and we have the very impressive um, Ordre, Ord, Ordre Foitu, Futu, sorry about the pronunciation, um, I believe he is the under-23 world record loglift holder of 206 kilos. So some great athletes. Um, I think Iron Bibby's just doing the log press. So, well, we'll soon find out. If so that is the athletes that are competing. So we're now going to have a little chat about the events. So obviously this is the World Log Lift Championships as well. So we've got the event number one is Max Log Press. Max Log Press event number one. So we've got the current world record holder Iron Bibby there. But myself and Luke are obviously doing the whole competition. I feel very good. I've been training very well on it. It's a wooden log, a log that I'm very comfortable with. So I am hoping to finally break over 200 kilograms in competition. Yeah, same for me. Um, last time I competed at Glasgow went really well. Last time I did log went really well. Um, but we've also got Pavel Kordiaki who's looking really good, um, been hitting a, an official Ukrainian record. We've got Matthew. Uh, from New Zealand, he's looking really good. The under 23 record holder as well, really impressive. There's a lot of good law press lifters here, yeah, so yeah, big uh, Mitchell Hooper as well. Mitch as well, I'm sure. Uh, Tyler Cotton from America, he's looking really powerful. So really good log pressures. That's what we've really got to see, and that is going to be. I think it's going to be a stacked lineup um, on the log press. Um, I believe it's 170, 180, five, 185. So 170, 185, 200. And then 210 kilos. Something like that. Something like that. I think that's the jump. So, um, you know, I think Tom and I will be looking to hit 210 kilos on that log and then see what happens after that. So that's event number one. So I think event number two will be Conan's Wheel. Um, yeah, this is one that oh, I think I'm going to do very well on. I've done it before at Giants Live and uh, I know what it's about. I know how to do it. So it's just pick it up, grid and base racing with it and walking as far as you can in a circle. Yeah, I think the Conans will be a good one. Um, obviously, you've got Pavlo, great at Conan's wheel. Pavel Dwyer, really good at Conan's wheel as well. So, expect those two guys to, to do quite well on it. And then, you know, Tom and myself um, will do well as well. Um, but again, every guy there, I think, will do really good. It's one of those events you just pick it up and grind it and just keep going until you basically pass out. And, you know, that's what I think all of the guys there on the weekend will do, you know, just keep going until we pass out. But, Certainly from past experience, Pa's really good. Pavlo um, smashed it, a world strongest man. Um, and yeah, both Tom and I, I think we've got some ground to make up on after uh, world's performance on Conan's. So. I mean, I was the first guy to do it with no hands. <laughs> Tom did awful at Conan's wheel at Worlds. Yes. Yeah, I did. Bad, so, so. Yeah. Let's do it again. Redemption is coming. Um, so yeah, so it should be a good event. I think it's a, a good one for the crowd to get behind. Um, it's just an exciting one, I think, the, the Conan's wheel, but it's, it's really difficult. But that'll be that'll be a good one. So that is event number two. Right, event number three is the Axel deadlift, 350 kilograms. This lineup is stacked with some very good deadlifters, some people that I've never seen before in competition, so it's going to make up for some good uh, some good lifts and some good reps on the deadlift as well. This is a lighter one as well, so hopefully there can be some 9, 10, 11 reps in this. But yeah, there's going to be some very good names. Obviously, Mitchell Hooper... Um, Luke Richardson as well is coming back. He's, he was looking good at England Strollers, man, so he's going to be very good. Matthew Rag, he is an absolute beast at uh, deadlifting. And then some other names as well. Paul Dwyer when he's on form as well. Gavin Bilton. Luke's deadlift's gone up massively since last time as well. So it's going to be a very good and competitive lineup for this event as well. What's the most you've pulled in this one? I think nine, maybe. Nine reps. So you'll be looking I, to I, get I, the double figures. Yeah, double figures is my goal. I mean, I thought in this was going to be 360, so I was very happy when they said 350. But yeah, you just put the suit on and just rep. Let's do it. But yeah, let's see what happens. And, but yeah, I think it's going to be a good event. I think that's that's going to be a, 
a, a load of reps in that one. So yeah, it should be a, should be a good one come Saturday. Uh, both Tom and I are looking forward to that one. Um, as Tom says, load of good deadlifters there, and we'll we'll get it done in, on Saturday. What's the next event, Tommy? So it's called. So the next event is event, event event four is called the Sandbag Steeplechase. So this is seen in official strongman games. I think it's two 140 kilogram sandbags over a 20 meter course, but there's a 10 meter hurdle in the middle. So basically, a uh, yoke. So you run 10 meters, chuck it over the yoke, run round, go to the end, and I think you sprint all the way back to the start of the other side and do the exact same twice. So this is all about speed and efficiency. I think being efficient from the first 10 metres over that yoke is going to win this, but yeah, you have to be fast, and <laughs> there's a lot of fast athletes in these. I mean, Pavlo's like the road runner. He's unbelievably fast. Mitchell Hooper, myself, Luke, Luke won the loading at Cardiff just passed. So yeah, we're all going to be fit. But I think this will be, if you make a mistake, you're out of this, because yeah, it's all about that first movement over the yoke. If you... I mean, I've got plans, I know what I'm going to do, but yeah, that's where you can make a break this as well and how fast you can get from finish line to back because, I mean, it's only two sandbags, so it's not like it's three or four, so this is about pace, pace, pace. And, and, and then the transition, like you say, between, like you throw it over the yoke or the, the hurdle, whatever it is, throw it over and then you've got to come round, pick it up, so that second pickup's got to be really quick as well. Yeah. So the first pickup, yeah, nice and high, throw over as much as you can, come over, readjust, pick it up nice and quick, run and load, and as Tom says, running back to get that second one. But yeah, there's there's some great guys. I think we shout out to uh, our Scottish friend, Connor. I think he's looking really fast as well. Yeah, Connor's going to... But I think this lineup, every single person's going to yeah, be be very fast in this. But again, I think the only... if You're, you're, you're going to lose this if you make a mistake. In training, Tom and I, we just did a... There's a, there's a heavy sandbag in Rogue, so we've got 177 kilo sandbag. We've done a couple of runs with that. Um, so we're in good stead. We're in good, I think, strength-wise, you know, for it. Um, Fitness-wise is really good as well. But yeah, it's going to be a good, a good fast event. I think it's going to be one of those that comes down to like, points of a second. never seen it in Giants Live before, so it's going to be, be cool to be part of as well. Mm -hmm. eh? But they're changing up a wee bit. So the last event, the event number five, is... The Castle Stone, the Atlas Stones, whatever you want to call them, 120 kilograms to 200 kg. So it's a heavy set of Atlas Stones, which is really good to see. Um, and I think also they're brand new stones. I think Atlas Endurance has made these stones. So in my eyes, no record stands. So this is going to be a completely new world record and a completely new on a complete new set of stones. But in my experience, Atlas Endurance have got some of the best stones in the world, and they're very very good. So if they're a uh, the same standard as myself and Luke Stones that we've had from them, then there's going to be very fast times in this because they're very, very good. But yeah, as I said, I back myself in the Atlas Stones. Luke's Atlas Stones have been very good. Mitchell Hooper, Matthew Rag, Pablo. Again, there's a whole lineup of people that can do very good and very fast times in this. But the new Stones might throw a few people off, tacky, etc., etc. But it's going to be fast and it's going to be cool. And just a special one. I pray I'll be working hard on my. Tech, not my technique, but my tacky ap application. So I'm wearing some tape, wearing some spray tacky, anti-sweat stuff. I'm doing all I can, so I hope there won't be a, a tacky malfunction on uh, my half. I think from what I remember, the, the hydro where the, the event's going to be held at, it's not too hot. It's not like a... The Albert Hall was really hot, Cardiff was really hot, but in, in Glasgow it's not as hot. So I'm hoping that it'll be a, a more appropriate temperature for for myself anyway but as tom says you know all the guys you know will be looking to put a fast set a uh, fast set of stones up um tom and i've been training the 120 to 200 stones the last few weeks so feeling really good and again it's a last event it all comes down to sometimes the last event i mean don't want to bring it up a couple of years ago you know the the last event um you know there was a bit of a malfunction between yourself and Evan. I won't go into it more than that, but it does come down to it. But you know, Tom is the best that's ever been at Stones. So um, since then, I think I've redeemed myself a lot. So uh, yeah, this year I will be looking to break a world record, or to well, it's not to break a world record, to set the fastest time on the heaviest stone. So <laughs> you've done it sub twenty before, haven't you? Um, I like think so. 19, yeah, but let's just do. What, but yeah, a hundred percent. I am not be dropping. No at the stones in Glasgow, and that is a promise from myself. So you will not be seeing anything like that happening. Mm. So yeah, it's, I think it's a good good set of events in this one. I think um, you know you go to 
the previous competitions, you know, we competed at Shaw's, which was like a, a heavy set of events mm -hmm. and really taxing your body. But with, with the Giants, you know, I think it's, we've got a Max Log heavy, the Conan's wheel is heavy, the axle deadlifts is heavy as well, you know, it's still a, a heavy set of deadlifts. And then you've thrown in something like the Steeple Chase, which is a good one, I think, uh, for, for endurance, uh, a heavy set of stones as well. I think it's, I think it's a really, fair set of events from Giants Live personally. I think it's it's gonna be a fun event. Um and hopefully that you know all you guys watching you can enjoy it. Um we're super excited. Um this is our first video of the week. We are doing a hype video as well so please stay tuned for that. That'll be out hopefully Friday Tommy. Um so this is a rundown of the athletes. Um, really excited also to see three Scottish guys competing, obviously Tom, myself and Connor, who's just won Scotland's Strongest Man. I think it's a big day for Scotland um, having three great athletes compete at the World Tour Final Giants Live. Um, so let's keep it going. Scotland is strength. We'll see you there, guys. Thank you for watching. Tom. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding-a-ling. Cheers. Drink some rain.